Welcome back. We're going to talk about RV8 interior today, and we put a lot of effort into this. One, of course, because it's going to be a show plane, but also we want it to be comfortable and safe, especially for our passengers coming for a ride in an experimental aircraft. Make them feel comfortable. Lots of functionality with the side. Here's what we're going to install today. Some chrome along the side rails, along the pilot armrests, and some powder-coated pieces where the paint is going to get rubbed over time. And then there's lots of rubber trim. We'll show you how we did it on our 8. So the first thing we're going to do is create some pockets. There's not a lot of storage in the RV-8. You can't reach back into a baggage compartment like you can on the 6 and 7. So we're going to create some side panels and some pockets. The easiest way to do it is take some poster board, cut it into strips, take it over to the airplane, glue it in place. Don't try and measure angles or distances and actually create a pattern from that. Just use these to um, stick in the corners and create a pattern from there. And we'll make it as tight as we can get it for now and then we'll take it back to the workbench and trim it down a little bit because you don't want to make these panels too tight um, because then they'll be very difficult to get in and out. And we'll trim along the top where the side rail so no need for the upholstery to go higher than that. And that's what the final pattern looks like and we'll take it back to the workbench and trim the top off. And we'll transfer it over to a new piece of poster board. So we have a final template that we could use later if the panel ever needs to be replaced. And then we'll send this panel off to the upholster to get wrapped in leather and install a pocket. Now here's the important part. We want to trim a quarter inch off the sides and the bottom so that the panel isn't too tight. Remember the leather is going to wrap around the edge, but also if it's tight, you're going to have a difficult time getting the panel actually in place. And for the upholster, we make sure we label everything correctly. Which way's up, what panel it is, pilot left side, forward, etc. Which is the inside, which is the outside, and exactly where the pocket lays. So on some of the pockets, they're about three quarter inch from the bottom, others are an inch and a half. Really just draw the pocket where you think it's going to be usable, put it in the cockpit, sit in the cockpit, and make sure that it's going to be functional. You don't want the pocket to be too high because there could be armrests or aluminum pieces in the way. And we'll put a dash line across the top so the upholster knows where the opening is. Label that nice and clear. Now we just have to repeat this. We got three on the right for the pilot, two on the left. And then the passenger in the back has a total of four, two on the right, two on the left. So now lots of storage for keys and glasses and snacks as we fly along, pilot's license, money, wallet, anything that you need to store, keep it out of the way. Remember the passenger's feet are right along the back there. So you need somewhere to store it. So here's what it looks like coming back from the upholster. I use classic aero designs, which I use for the interior of the RV-8, the seats and the side panels. So it's a nice leather, nice stitching, really nice way to accent uh, your cockpit and covers up all the aluminum. So there's no visible aluminum at all in the cockpit. Now it's time to dress it up a little bit. So anywhere that there's a, an angle like you see here on the armrest, it's gonna get scratch and ding over time. So I blinged out the front a little bit by taking some angle aluminum, trimmed it, got it chromed, and it's just glued in place and then taped temporarily while the glue dries. So these areas here are gonna get beat up over time. They're on the back bulkhead. Again, that's a piece of aluminum that's been powder coated to match the paint. And that's just to protect that area that we know is gonna get damaged and chipped over time. Same thing, glued in place, a little bit of tape to hold it. In the back cockpit, Everywhere where there's a bulkhead, we put those powder-coated aluminum panels. Now, especially along the side rails, I took some 1 inch by 1 inch aluminum angle, cut it around the roll bar, as you see there, and it's going to be attached with number 6 screws. So this is going to be one area on really any airplane that's going to get dinged over time. It's going to get kicked. It's going to get leaned on. It's going to get scratched, the, chip's going to, the paint's going to chip. 
And really, it also provides a nice transition between the interior paint and the exterior of the paint. So we don't have to worry about a paint line. It really adds a nice, a nice feature to the airplane. It's all about the little details. So we'll do it on the right side as well. And on the right side, because we have a fast back, we got the hinge there. So we do have to trim it a little bit in the back on the right side where the passenger sits. But of course, you're going to do all that before you get it chromed, if that's your choice. So you can see there it tapers as we go back. So all you have to do is give it a wipe down every once in a while. Maybe every few years you got to take it out and get it finished. Now installing the panels, they're just basically velcroed in place and the Classic Aero Designs installs these velcro pieces for you. You just got to take the tape off to make it stick. And this is why we make it undersized because even with a quarter inch undersize, you're going to have to bend it a little bit to kind of snap it in place. So if you make it too tight, it's going to be frustrating. In the front of the switches so really a nice pocket there but a panel to cover up where there's no paint the only place where there's paint on this airplane is right in the corners of the crevices where you would otherwise see aluminum otherwise it's all powder coat or leather or those trim pieces that you saw with we glued to the edges of the bulkheads be mindful of where your headset is so we don't want the pocket interfering with the headset wires so that's why that one is so low there and that's the finished interior, so no aluminum anywhere. Got the armrests and the trim. Stuff that can be removed over time as it gets dinged up and scratched. And then this is kind of an iterative process uh, that we'll go through even after paint is just putting rubber trim along everything, getting rid of all the air gaps. So I hope you enjoyed that. Build yourself something, take it for a rip, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.